what choice did he have? He couldn't let Filipinos starve. He had to feed them, right? Yeah. Had to borrow a lot of money. And now, so President BBN is going to be knocking on the doors trying to get money from investors. There's no point going to a overseas visit if you bring two people or three people. If you've got a hundred people and they're all expert, you need to bring them all, bring these people with you. And if the president's being invited to every single country, he should be going to those countries, getting that investment, which is going to put food on the tables of Filipinos. Yes. So I admire him for that. For the economy. Yeah. Of course, the economy is doing well. You know, again, I have to be a little bit careful because I'm in the Philippines currently. I'm not going to criticize. It's not for me. I'm not Filipino. It's not for me to criticize the government. I'm not going to do that. Again, all I can say is as a Christian, I believe in supporting the government and, you know, uh, praying for the country. My wife's from the country. My children are Filipino. I should be praying for the Philippines. And that's what I'm here to do. That's what I always do. That's what I always have done. What made you, sir, um, what made you enter us towards this morning? Uh, you know, I met Christine Reyes before, I'm a fan of Christine, and I've also met most of the other, well, I've met uh, some of the other cast, you know, um, I've met Cesar Montano when he was the uh, tourism attaché uh, back in London, uh, so I love Filipino culture, Filipino movies, you know, and I, again, I believe in freedom of speech, you know, the Made in Malacanang, uh, there was somebody who wrote a letter so trying to get the film banned in Switzerland. And I believe, you know, there's two sides to every story. I wouldn't be going outside a screening of Kataps trying, trying to get it banned. So don't do that in this movie. It's up to the Filipino public what they want to do, what they want to listen to. You know, as I said, you know, let's support the Philippine movie industry. This film has done so much good. The first film made so much money for the Philippine film industry during the time of the pandemic. This got Filipinos back into the cinema. Whatever your political views are, you need to understand this got bums on seats, buying popcorn, buying hot dogs, and supported the Philippine movie industry. And I congratulate and respect Director Aurelia for that. Yes, thank you very much, sir, for the support of this so it's Ryan in Marcos. Um, you know, I got to meet her in London. Uh, I was very fortunate to be invited to the Philippine Embassy for uh, the uh, meeting with uh, Ryan in Marcos. Uh, I like the fact that she. I like her personality. You know, she's on YouTube. She's really trendy, right? She does these YouTube videos, and, and you know, she's helping people, and I can see that. And I'm not going to comment on the politics, you know, I'm not Filipino, it's not for me to get involved in politics. But all I can say is, I believe that every single family, every single six people have a right to be heard. And these movies give the family a right to be heard. But, I, you know, I was just talking to the guys in the other movie, you know, the horrors in the row. I'd like to watch that as well. And the reason why I can't watch it, it's not that I don't want to watch it, it's because there's no subtitles. Whereas Daryl Yap has put subtitles in his movies so I can watch it and try and understand it. So what I'm saying is, you know, we should all not be biased, we should not be blinkered. I believe it's only fair if we watch all of these movies and make our own opinion, and that's the way that I am. I'm not going to be biased, I'm not going to get involved in politics. I just support Philippine movies, Philippine culture, and Philippine artists and directors. Do you know how to speak Tagalog? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, <it's English. laughs> no, no, can't do that. <laughs> no, you know, you know I, I believe that, what will I say? I have a great deal of respect for the Philippines and the Filipino people. Um, I, um, if, I'm, if I'm with somebody who doesn't speak English, I can understand Tagalog. I'm not fluent, so for example, if I'm talking to a taxi driver or something, I can say, Bare, um, uh, Makano, and, and Mahal if it's too expensive, you know, and Bare, stop, direction. I, I watch your video, yeah. sir. Yeah. Uh, you are uh, riding in tricycle. Oh, yeah, and I'm speaking in Tagalog, <laughs> and my head is bumping on the top uh -huh. because I'm really tall as well, which is kind of really, re really crazy. Uh, but I'm passionately in love with the Philippines and the Filipino people. Uh, and, and you know, the, the Filipino people have been a very important part of my life for the last 30 years. I feel that connection. And I have to say, you know, I'm going to be leaving the Philippines tomorrow. I better not talk anymore. <laughs> um, because to me, the Philippines is the most amazing country on earth. And uh, I suffer a lot now from stress, from depression. 
and coming to the Philippines and, and meeting Filipinos makes me happy. Yeah. You know, the Filipino people are, um, I love everything about them. Yeah, no, but, but more than that, you know, I, I love the traits of the Filipino, you know, they're kind, they're polite, you know, they're efficient, hardworking, resourceful, and the Philippines is very close to my heart. And I've been saying this a lot recently, whenever I get to leave the Philippines, it feels like somebody's stabbing me a hundred times. That's the pain so sad because that you're I get when I leave the Philippines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sir, uh, excuse me. I ha I have a viewer want to ask something. Uh, yes, please. Uh, uh, he said that uh, Josh, if can you know, one favor? if you know the yeah, story of uh, Ferdinand Marcos Senior, when Cory Aquino oh. lead for presidency, <laughs> sir. Sorry, can you ask uh, a question? Uh, my viewer said, um, what can you say about the story of Ferdinand Marcos Senior when uh, Cory Aquino lead for presidency? I said I can't get involved in politics. You know, I'm here as a foreigner. Although my wife's Filipino, if she was with me, I'd be on a blit by Anne, but I'm not. Mm -mm. I'm here as a foreigner, and, and, and it's not right for me to comment on internal matters and on Philippine politics. So I wouldn't get drawn into any questions like that. All I'd say is I'm a Christian and I pay for pray for the government in office, the current government. There's nothing wrong. I can't get banned from the country for, uh -huh. for praying for the government. If I start getting into deep issues, then I stand the risk of being deported. I love the Philippines with all my heart. It's the greatest country on earth, and I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize that. So with respect, I can't answer that question. If you ask me that question when I'm in London, that's another story because I'm not on a tourist visa. Sir, kindly <laughs> please uh, shout out our channel, JTV, para uh, you won't forget us. <laughs> Let me just say one thing to all of you guys, you know, uh, you guys are amazing and I love the fact what you do, you know, social media and YouTube is so, so important. The traditional press, you know, they have a certain agenda and, you, uh, and, and this is the point, you know, the, 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 good, the good thing about social media is that it enables people to create content, enables people to make a livelihood. But it means that you can hear stuff on the ground, you, you hear stuff, you're at events, you can do a lot more than a traditional newspaper can do. So I'd like to commend all of you for your work, for what you're doing in telling the real truth, the real story, and well done, Maraming Maraming Salama, for your support for the country. Please invite our viewers to watch MOM. MOM is an amazing film. I've watched it three times. I, I'm, first time I nearly fell over, right, because I'm really, really tired. And when I saw that the last 10 minutes, oh my God, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a very, uh, it's a lot easier. You know, Direct Daryl Yap is an artist, and this is a, a work of art. You know, when you see the scene, and I'm not going to spoil it, there's no spoilers here, yeah. but, but, but when you see some scenes, you think, wow, it's layer and layer of intrigue and excitement. And the scenes, and I've got, I've got to say again, Christine Reyes, you know, I, I put a post about her and she thanked me for that post, which is Did kind of really cool. Did uh, you cry also? I've cried a lot of times. <laughs> uh, every single time I watch Made in Malacanya, even up to the 25th time, I've cried. Because that story touches my heart. Your heart is You know, it really does. And this movie, I've got to be honest, because I haven't watched it so many times, it's not that I don't understand it. Of course I understand it. But the fact is, you know, in order to appreciate something, you've got to watch it more than once. And this is what the Rep. Darrell Yap says, and this is what I say. You know, you've got to watch it more than once, because it's it's like the first movie, The Made in Malacanang. There were little hidden messages there, you know, the shoes and everything else. Watching it once doesn't do it justice. And I would say the same about this movie as well. Watch it as much as you can. And because I have to look at the subtitles and not just the screen, I miss certain parts of it. So it's only when I watch it time and time again that I'll begin to see parts of the movie that I haven't seen before. And I know I'll be watching this movie all over Europe, and if you're in the UK, I'm, I'll be in a lot of cinemas in the UK over it's the coming weeks. It's coming soon, sir. Did you know already when to show in the UK? Yes, it's showing in the UK, um, I believe, uh, the beginning of April. And I believe it will be showing in various UK cities. I can tell you now I'll be going to most of those screenings in the UK. So if you're in the UK, I'd like to say hi, send you my best wishes, and I'd like to support the movie as well. Tell all your friends, please watch it. 
And one thing I would say is, so many people have said, oh, Netflix and the like. It might not, it won't go to Netflix. Uh -huh. It's not going to get on Netflix. It's gone on Viva Prime. Can I ask a question? 